Hey. How? The devil? Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I've always wanted a, a, a macro lens, you know, to take pictures of like flowers close up and look at flies' heads and stuff like that. <laughs> well, I don't know why. But obviously, the price of macro lenses for cameras is ridiculous. So I bought a, digi di a digital microscope. Um, just to see, I mean, it cost me £23. And uh, it's supposed to be 2K. It's not 4K, not 1080, 2K. Don't ask me why 2K, I don't know, but maybe it is, it's 2K. Um, so I thought it cost me, I think, £23 or something like that. Uh, not a bad price at all. So let's get out of the box and see what we've got. Right. Okay, so we've got the... Uh, the microscope here oh, it's got it's got a little lens cap on it just a bit of plastic really just to keep the dust off it i suppose and that's where you zoom in and out loop 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 there we go got the little stand here which you tighten up and loosen it's not the best in the world but it does the job but you can also get a free microscope stand which i i'll show you later on in the video you've got your usb type c which that usb plugs in there and you've also got micro usb Watch this, doing. <laughs> Here we are, and yink. Uh, doesn't support um, iOS devices. Does support most Android devices. Didn't work with mine, which also I'll go through later on. Works with Mac and also Windows. So all that's really good. Also comes with this uh, microscope micrometer calibration ruler. Uh, now, there's nothing in the instructions at all or anywhere I can see online which mentions this or how to use it. I just maybe think it's a, just a thing where you can hover this over and just look at the millimetres and the measurement rulers just to see how far you're zooming in. I don't know. Anyway, let's get this plugged into the PC, this, this one here, and then uh, see how it goes. Okay, so you can either use their app called ExploView, which I downloaded it here, just go online. And it's just there, explode view. If you Google it, boop, there it is there. Go in there and just download it right there. Um, obviously, I've, all, I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it anymore. But you can also use your own camera app. So I just plop, plug it in. And then you can find your camera app. Okay. And there it is there. If it doesn't, you may find sometimes you've got to change the camera angle. Okay, so it's, that's front-facing camera. I just switched it around here and it's got general webcam I should come under. And there it is. I'll pop it into its stand now. It's very easy, you just pretty self-expanding, just pop it in here. Uh, what should we do? Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this uh, type C. Let's have a look at that. And then just use this then. Should be able to. And there you go, have a look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> I need to take off the lens cap. <laughs> I thought, what's going on here? It ain't that cool, what am I on about? I'm talking out of my arm. There you go, that's better. <laughs> There you go, let's have a look. Yeah, so obviously you see my deliberate mistake there. Um, make sure you take the lens cap off. So you just use this uh, to, to focus it in there. And there you have it. Now that is pretty cool. It's a very clear image as well. So if I look at the settings, you should be able to get it up to, let's have a look. So I've set it at 3.7 megapixels, 25560 by 1440. So that's the setting I've got it on there. They're pretty much the highest setting. And that is pretty cool. Let's have a look. I've got I've already come prepped with a coin. This is a 2P coin. There you go. Oh, need to tighten that up a bit. Again, you can just focus it in a little bit. You can go further away, then you just gotta focus that in then. 
this deer. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. It's a very clear image. And if you want to, you can just take a photo of that. Patink. And there's that photo there then. Look. Ta-da. Okay. You can do a video as well if you wanted to. Uh, this is the yucky bit. This is a funny bit. Have a look. At, check out my arm. Right. My arm looks okay there, doesn't it? It's not so bad. But have a look at this monstrosity. <laughs> What's this all about? Let's have a look. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's horrific. What's that? What's that? What's that thing there? What's that? What's that going on? I can't. What, what the hell? Some weird looking blue thing. Oh my God. I can't even see that. What's this patch there? Um, I need moisturising, I'm sure of it. <laughs> See, it works pretty well, doesn't it? And then also, like I said, as long as you close that up, you can open Explore View. And it'll do the same thing here. So you can see it there. I'm not sure, maybe maybe it's because it's a smaller. Let me just expand that. I know it seems like it's a, a better picture on that somehow. I don't know what you guys think. And what do you think? Oh, that's freaky. Let's have a look at that coin again. My arm is freaking me right out. And then you, you just take a picture. You can do a video here. Uh, you can do a, a time shot. Take a photo. Let's just focus that in. That's there. And then you just take a photo. And see some photos I've done earlier. Oh yeah, so this is actually a good, a good thing. So I'll just show you, I wonder if I can just show you this. This is our microscopic micrometer calibration ruler. Okay. And it, it just gives you some measurements on there. Now I think it's just for you to go, to go and zoom in a little bit on it. So that, between that line there and that line here, and that line here, that's one millimeter. So it does zoom in quite a bit. I don't know when it's up to a thousand. I don't know. It looks more like a hundred or so. I could be wrong. Um, there's obviously a way if I went on the internet and, and found out how I could calibrate to make sh to see if I could see if that's a thousand times. But you think if a size of a millimeter is pretty small, and that that if it was a hundred times, would maybe it is a thousand times. I don't know. What do you guys think? So it that is one millimeter. Doing, but doing, but doing, but doing. So it's pretty good. Um, I'm really enjoying this at the moment. I, I've had a mess around with it before I've done the video, obviously, so I knew what I was doing a little bit. I'm not saying I'm an expert on it, uh, but so far I've been really impressed by it. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, but what I need is that. Look, you, if you're going to have a macro, a macro lens or a microscope, you've got to find an insect. So I will find an insect. <laughs> got to have an insect. Maybe a blade of grass. It's all, you know, it's all standard, really. Insect's head, blade of grass, spider's mush, anything like that. Fantastic. Now, I did try and use it on my phone. But the only problem was, is that, it says you can download three types of different app for your uh, Android phone and none of them would work. And all that would happen is I'd try to load it up, put it on, the cam light came on, um, the, but it just nothing happened. And when I tried to press anything on the app itself, the phone just crashed uh, and restarted and rebooted. So it doesn't work on my phone. I've got a, a Google Pixel 4a. Um, so maybe it just doesn't work with Google phones. I don't know. It didn't work anyway. I tried all three apps. All the, th the three apps they recommend was OTG View, Instacam, and A98, AN98. N none of those three worked. So that was a bit of a bummer. But I'm happy what it does on the on my PC. And obviously I've got a laptop as well that it works on there. Another thing I want to show you is... Uh, what I was quite impressed about was the fact that on the uh, website, so you go on here and you go with the drive where it says driver, and this is the camera I've got here 
USB microscope driver download, whatever. And you go on there, and it says here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera there. I'll take a, I'll take a, a snapshot of that and show you. Um, it says, updated microscope stand carrying case for free, I tell you. Free? What? Are you having a laugh? Free? Uh, but it's for Amazon microscope purchases only. If you want to get them, please click Long gift at outlook.com to send an email attached to the title, I want a free microscope stand and your Amazon order number and home address in the email. Each account will only get one stand. And apparently it looks like you get this microscope. Micro, microscope? What's a microscope, anyone know? But you can also get this microscope stand and looks like a carrying case. So I have sent off for this. If it doesn't arrive, I will do an update on this video and let you know. So all in all, uh, for 23 pound, I'm very happy. Nice little bit of kit as long as it keeps working. Uh, one thing I will say, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that here, but the image is actually upside down. So it takes a bit of getting used to, because you're trying to get, <laughs> you've got to look at the coin, don't look at the picture, because you're trying to get <laughs> the image, but it's actually the other way around. So that's facing that way and it's that way. Do you get what I mean? So you, the image is reversed. Uh, so if you want to get that side of it, you have to turn it upside down. So I can then get, see the right in there. I'm trying to get that 2021. 2021, uh, there it is. See, it's very difficult to try and, there we are. So it's very difficult to try and get that up. Anyway, like I said, I'll try and get um, some pictures now of insect heads and grass and stuff like that. You know, stick it on the end of this video. Cause that's a standard thing you do with it, isn't it? You know, they all do it in these photographers. Hey, let's do a close-up of a blade of grass. <laughs> anyway, that's the microscope. If I don't get the stand, I will let you know. But hopefully it'll come uh, in the next couple of weeks. It's probably from China, so it might take a while. Uh, anyway, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.